Today I'm going to talk about the difference between American Indian, Native American, and African American. So those of you all who have studied Christopher Columbus know that Christopher Columbus came from the east over the Atlantic Ocean to the Western Hemisphere, these Americas, and landed in the Caribbean, which is modern day Haiti, Dominican Republic. On his voyage were African Moors navigating the waters for him. Columbus also brought a Hebrew interpreter to speak to the lost tribes of Israel. It was said that Christopher Columbus was looking for God's people and looking for Jerusalem, the lost tribes of Israel. So, aboard Columbus's ship were the African Moors that have come back and forth to this hemisphere, trading with the American Indian chiefs many times so they knew how to get over here. And these African Moors were never meant to move to these Americas and usurp the land. It was more so of a business arrangement where the American Indian chiefs did not, do, did not mind doing business with other melanated people. So um, Christopher Columbus called these indigenous people Indios. Indi, the root word of indigo, meaning the darkest color of the color spectrum. Indigo, meaning blue-black. Indi, also the root word of indigenous, meaning the first people of a said land or place. Dios, meaning of God. So Indios means the indigenous people of God. So fast forward to Abraham Lincoln's presidency, the ending of American slavery, not transatlantic slavery, which is something different. Less than 200,000 Africans were brought over here as slaves to these America. And mostly men were brought. So who did these African, mar African men marry? They mostly married or had children by American Indian women. Abraham Lincoln was offering 40 acres and a mule to American Indians who were the real slaves in these Americas. Less than 200,000 Africans were enslaved in these Americas, but more than 5 million American Indians were enslaved. Those that really picked cotton, cut sugarcane, were raped, um, shipped around on ships from the Americas to Canada to the Caribbean to South America were American Indians. It wouldn't make sense to bring millions of slaves over the Atlantic Ocean. They probably wouldn't even survive. It would make more sense to enslave the people that were already here. That makes more common sense. So the African slaves, many of them were offered an option to go back to Africa. Hence Liberia and many of the free towns in Africa. Many Africans had the option to go back. Some of the Africans stayed in these Americas is why we have the term African-American today. Um, some of them married in with the Indians. Some of them think they are Indians because they have some indigenous blood in them. 
But upon my research, talking to many American Indian chiefs, it's not so much what you look like. There are some American Indian markers. Some people say cheekbones, the American Indian straight nose. But according to American Indian chiefs, it's more so the Indian spirit. For example, one of the chief's daughters, a squaw, goes out on her daily duties, hunting for her, nuts, berries, resources, and some foreigner grabs her and rapes her. And when she's able to give birth at the end of her pregnancy, she may be allowed to go back to her tribe. When that child is born, no matter what the child looks like, the child can look Indian. But if the child does not have the Indian spirit, that can cause a problem for the Indians. If the child has a spirit of raping, stealing, enslaving, usurping land, that is not the Indian spirit. So, <clears throat> That was the difference between African Americans and American Indians. The difference between Native Americans and American Indians is when you look up pictures of the ancestors, American Indian ancestors, people ask why Native Americans don't look anything like the tribes they're claiming to be. Why don't modern day Choctaws look like the Chata ancestors. Why don't modern day Ojibwe's look like the Ojibwe ancestors? Why don't modern day Cherokee look like the indigenous Cherokee? And the answer is because they're not the same people. Dane Calloway has done a video called $5 Indians. And this term explains a lot of what happened with the casinos, the reparations that were supposed to be given to American Indians were actually given to Native Americans, which many of them have 0% Indian blood in them. Most Native Americans look European or look Asian. Whether they are knowingly lying for the check or whether they have been deceived themselves to think they are Indian, A picture says a thousand words and more so than what they look like because most of them do not look like the American Indian ancestors of the tribes that they're claiming do they have the Indian spirit because the Indian spirit would be to do the right thing if you want to research that five dollar Indian video look up Dan Calloway $5 Indians here on YouTube.